forward now on quite a short run to the first of the 18 fencers and they're off and running in the Betfred TV novices handicap chase American a perfect two out of two over fencers so far and he's prominent as they come down towards the first fence and they're all safely over although it was must meet a lady who was just a little ponderous at the back of the field american is very keen upon the outside of the gray hey now on the inside is newtown lad it's these three who rise as one that would have made a good photo for any of the race course photographers they're three absolutely in line over that fence and so they come up past us now with two complete circuits ahead of them and it's danny cook in the red and white colors on hey Nan, who has now come to claim the lead over newtown lad who's the only previous winner here at Utoxta in the field, racing in second. Now in the hands of Robbie Dunn, he's the replacement rider. American, quite keen in the hands of Noel Feely, racing in third. Delgany Demon, who was runner-up in this race last year, is in fourth, and then rocked the Casbar out wide. Richard Johnson uh, giving him a good sighter at this quite tricky fence taken as they race away from the enclosures. The mistake came from Poom Bobby, the black with the red cap. He's towards the rear of the field, together with Tanit River, and also must meet a lady who was a little sticky over the first, but has been better over the second and third fences. On they go now towards another plain fence. This is the second fence taken down the back straight at which Delgany Demon made a slight error. Now they take that dog leg turn away to the right, climbing up the hill now, up Clump Hill, and on now to towards fence number five and it is still Hainan who just has the lead with on his outside American over in a close second and on the inside is Newtown Lad. A break now of a couple of lengths back to the fourth horse as they continue to climb that is Cross Park and then in fifth is Rock the Casbar followed by Poom Bobby then pushed along Delgany Demon back to big prices but those prices not looking too generous at the moment as Trevor Whelan's getting much lower in the saddle and still Tanit River is the back of the field together with must meet a lady another mistake there by poon bobby as they got over fence number six so they begin to make the run down the hill and boys one or two are already being to really be found out by the jumping here even at the first circuit's end yeah, well, Delgany Demon was second in this race last year. Trevor Whelan will have to wave his magic wand for him to be second this year. American, I'm really happy with the way he's jumping. And Luke, right after the Casby, he must be pleased. Yeah, he's jumped really, really nicely. Interesting to see Richard Johnson, who likes to go down the inside, jump this horse off down the outside, Mark, so he's got plenty of view of his fences. He has indeed. Haynam was the one who made a slight mistake there at that plane fence. Now, there's only one open ditch on the entire track at Utoxta, and it's this fence coming up. And on this circuit, it will be fence number eight, and they are all safely over, although Delgany Demon, well, he didn't punt to his jumping boots on today because, again, he was very slow at the back of the field, and he's very much uh, uh, losing the battle here, Trevor Whelan, on Delgany Demon. Now they go over the fence, which was their first, and this time it was fence number Number nine, and it's still Newtown Lad with on the inside Hainan coming back for more. American still traveling powerfully in third, and this will be the final fence in a circuit's time. And that's the significant error again by Hainan. That's the second fence on this line of the track that he's made a blunder, and now he gets a reminder or three from Danny Cook. So a circuit to go, and it's Newtown Lad who was the winner here over two miles, six and a half furlongs in November, slightly up in trip today, who leads the way in the hands of Robbie Dunn. So the favourite American racing in second. And remember that statistic, no favourite has won this race in the last ten runnings and only four of them have even got round. But at the moment American is travelling well in the green colours on the outside of Newtown Lad as they cross over the eighth from home. Over in third place is Hainan and he's still being driven. And then Cross Park. After Cross Park is Rock the Casbar. Then the yellow of Tanit River who's gone past one or two rivals and so too has Poon Bobby, but Poon Bobby has hit one or two fences as well on the way round. And now they go over the fence taken just before the dog leg turn and the farm. So now they're entering the final three quarters of a mile. And up the hill they go for the second time. Newtown Lad still just has the lead. American, though, is breathing down his neck and he jumped that fence particularly well. Then towards the outside is Rock the Casbar, and now they've just got the five more fences to jump me. Yeah, they have. American, I'd be really happy if I'm on him. Dickie's just getting a little bit busy on Raptor Casper, Luke. Yeah, but he's jumped beautifully, so no excuse on that front. I'd love to be riding American. Look at uh, Noel Feely. He's got nice long range. It's Ruby Walsh-esque. It's a case of who stays now.
So that was the fifth throw home and just a slight peck on landing by Newtown Lad and that's allowed American now to stride on into the lead and already the crowd are beginning to bubble here. Many of this pack crowd are on American, maybe one of their bankers of the day. Noel Feely, who rode his 100th winner of the season when he rode the winner of the Queen Mother Champion Chase earlier on in the week at Cheltenham, is going for 101 here on American. American, a perfect chowder to two over fences, and he wings the fourth from home. Down is Newtown Lad, who crashes out at the fourth last, and that has now left Cross Park and Rock the Casbah fighting out second and third and then must meet a lady. The final open ditch for American and once again he took it right in his stride. Rock the Casbah just now moving into second. Cross Park in third. Must meet a lady is staying on. Still two more plain fences to take for American. He comes to two out. Once again he jumps it supremely well. Much better than his nearest pursuer Rock the Casbah who still has some eight lengths to find. Tanit River has been pulled up in the home straight, but here's the final fence for America now, and again he's over safely, he's clear by eight lengths, Rock the Casbar is back in second, but he's giving weight away all round, what a progressive horse, he may well have missed Cheltenham, but this is a big prize, and America now is a perfect three out of three over fences. Rock the Casbar was second, in third came Cross Park, and in fourth was Must Meet a Lady. Well, American has only in his life raced on seven occasions. He's won five times. He won an Irish point to point. He won a hurdle at Ascot. And now he's three out of three over fences. 101 winners.